Ever wished your business card could be more than just a piece of paper? What if it was a game? Well, we took that idea and ran with it. Today, I'm excited to show you how it all came to life. Hi, I'm Sebastian, developer at Binary Impact, and in this video we'll dive into our Unity Tip trading card game. I will share its origins, how it's evolved, and most importantly, how to play it. If you're only interested in gameplay, skip ahead to the how to play chapter. But if you're curious about how we made this happen, stick around. Let's rewind to 2016, when Binary Impact was founded. We are passionate about Unity and have been using it in all our projects, from indie games to industry solutions. We also started contributing to the Unity community through the Unity Tip Tuesday on Twitter, posting a Unity Tip each week. Fast forward to today, we never stopped doing it and now we have shared over 400 tips. At one point, while working on our first game Beam, we wanted something unique to hand out at conferences. A business card people wouldn't just throw away. So we came up with Unity Tip cards. Each card had a Unity Tip and a QR code linking to our full list. They were a hit. But then we asked ourselves, how can we take this further? And that's when the idea of trading cards was born. We took our most popular tips and transformed them into 55 trading cards for the first edition. But it wasn't just about collecting tips anymore, we gamified it. At events, people loved the idea of not only collecting, but also playing with these cards. Have you ever collected something at an event that was more than just a handout you threw away later? Let us know in the comments below. However, in the midst of all this, Unity's announcement of the runtime fee put a cloud over the project. We didn't really felt like we wanted to support the engine anymore. But luckily, it didn't take them long to realize that it might not be the smartest move. Sometime after, we got an exciting opportunity. Unity approached us and we partnered with them for the Unite 2024 conference in Barcelona. They handed out over 40,000 cards and the feedback was incredible. Now we are already planning future editions. Okay, enough about the backstory. Let's talk about the fun part how to actually play the Unity Tip trading card game. Before we jump into the full gameplay mechanics, I want to quickly mention something exciting. We've been working on our next game at Binary Impact, Parking World Build and Manage. A game where you can build your very own parking spaces will be available early November. Putting it on your wish list would be greatly appreciated. Thank you! The great thing about this game is that you can play with just one card. The game is played on a grid and the size of that grid depends on how many cards each player has. If each player only has one card, the grid is just two side-by-side -side cells. But with more cards you can expand the grid to 2x2 two two, with at least two cards for each player or even 3x3 three three if both players have five or more cards. Before starting, both players agree on how many cards to use and how large the grid should be. Then, players take place at opposing sides of the grid and you are ready to begin. Once set up, you'll need to decide who goes first. You can flip a coin, roll dice or maybe see who can sprint to the nearest exit the fastest if you're feeling sportive. Players take turns placing cards on the grid. Whoever places a card has initial control over that card. Both players put the cards down upright to their position. This not only adds strategic depth, it is also very easy to see who currently controls a card. Now for the fun part, combat. When a card is placed next to an opponent's card, horizontally or vertically, combat begins. The player who placed the card is the attacker and the other player is the defender. To resolve combat, compare the numbers in the lower right corner of each card. The numbers facing each other are what matters. If the attacker has the higher number, it defeats the other card and it changes ownership. If the numbers are tight or the attacker's number is smaller, it's a draw and nothing changes. Repeat this for all adjacent cards that are owned by the opposing player. If a card is defeated, it is flipped to be upright to its new owner. Be aware that this changes the directions of the numbers. This is especially important with the cascade rule. A defeated card can trigger combat with neighboring cards in the same manner as a newly placed card and potentially turn the tide of the game. For beginners, you can reduce the complexity by omitting the cascade rule. Additionally, you can place all cards facing the same direction, so the directions of the numbers stay the same. If you do this, make sure to keep track who controls which cards. 
use tokens or other means to mark cards for each player. For now, let's see how this match will play out. When the last cell on the grid is filled, the game ends. Now each player counts the cards under their control. Whoever has the higher count is the winner of the current match. Clear the grid and get ready for the next round. And that's the Unity Tip Trading Card Game. A fun, collectible way to level up your Unity skills and challenge friends. To start your very own collection, find us at conventions and conferences or try your luck at the next Unity event in your area. If you're excited about what we do, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss a part of our journey. And don't forget, our new game Parking World Build and Manage will be available on Steam early November, but you can already wishlist it right now. Thanks for watching!